Brokti Hawa Brokata, Yehosha, Brokti Hawa Brokata, Yehosha, Bah Hashem, Rakakudash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Addressing the Coming Board. Video was inspired by a comment from the YouTube handle, Does It Really Matter 2346? And he commented on a video I did, No Schisms in the Body Gangrene. And the post is, Can this also be related to an unbelieving wife or women? Our sisters all seem to be disrespectful challenging and sick with masculine personalities how is this acceptable when humility only make them worse shallow all right so the scripture he's talking about is matthew chapter 5 and 29 and if your right eye offend you pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish, and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. Verse 30, And if your right hand offend you, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. So, of course, the primary breakdown is if a brother is in a camp promoting schisms, okay, he must be removed if he doesn't repent. Now, remember, the scripture is manifold. So you can break it down two to three ways. So to answer your question, can this also be related to an unbelieving wife or women? Our sisters all seem to be disrespectful, challenging, and sick with masculine personalities. How is this susceptible when humility only makes them worse? Shalom. And the answer to your question is yes. All right, so Matthew chapter 5 and 29. And if your right eye offend you, pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members shall perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. And if your right hand offend you, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. So yes, you can apply this to unruly wives. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Okay, hence one flesh, right? So let's go back to Matthew chapter 5 and 29. And if your right eye, hence one flesh, offend you, pluck it out. How so? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 25 and 26. If she go not as you would have her, meaning your wife, okay? That's this actually tripping, all right? Cut her off from your flesh, okay? And give her a bill of divorce and let her go. So keep that in mind. So, and if your right eye offend you, pluck it out. Give her a bill of divorce, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. Verse 30, and if your right hand offend you, hence one flesh, cut it out, meaning what? Submit her a bill of divorce. 
and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish, and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. So if your significant other is a hindrance where you're no longer productive, or she has a great potential, okay, to make you fall out, okay, and stop doing the work, you have to pluck out your eye. You have to cut off your hand. Okay, so yes, the scripture can be utilized, okay, for brothers that are tripping and even significant others, as well as ourselves. So let's go to the book of Colossians and shout out to Zaquan Kazak. He gave me this scripture. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5. Mortify therefore your members which are on the earth, such as what? Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of the Most High come on the sons or children of disobedience in the which you also walked sometime when you lived in them. But now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Okay? Lie not to one another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right? So we have to mortify our members by what? Embracing the new man. Okay? Becoming that new creature in Yahweh So, yes. Yes. Matthew chapter 5 and 29 and 30 can be utilized for brothers that need to be kicked out of camps, okay? Your significant other that basically is disrespectful and just a great hindrance, okay? Or has a great capability to hinder your performance. Or let's say she committed adultery, okay? She has to be plucked as well as even you, any desires that are extremely lustful, okay, we must mortify our members. Lord will, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.